Hi guys, good morning. It's another day of relax and pain. And I'm so excited to be working with you. I am doing something for the holidays. I'm using a Dollar Tree plate. All right. And there's a saucer that matches that. So that's kind of fun. And what I wanted to share with you is we have lots of good things happening and you got to watch to the end. So you get all the tricks, tips and tricks that we're going to have. And uh, there's all kinds of plates that I picked up this year um, to share little um, tips to make painting easy on glass. And these are great to put on an easel and decorate for the holidays. So let's get started. Thank you very much. This is um, a fun year of painting. We're using multi-surface paint. And I'm going to come down and share that with you right here. Okay, so we are going to pick up right here. Um, the colors that we're going to use so I put them in a foam plate for right now and just to share you I do have the salt small saucer also and I'm using multi-surface paints they come in different kinds of bottles and I'm going to pull out this you see this when the dry paint gets in there you want to make sure to pull it out so it closes well all right so I've got paint all over my bottles I still wanted to share with you the colors these are the new bottles these are old bottles. All right, so these are some of the colors we're going to use. And I'm going to kind of tell you the colors as we go. All right, so I have, um, let's come way out here, a little bit past. All right, so we have Pueblo, Aqua. This is Daffodil Yellow and Wicker White. And as you saw, I have two ounce and I have eight ounce. So all of my paints and all the colors I'm using, whether we're doing um, Glitterific or some of the other uh, products and brushes are on onestroke.com, all spelled out, onestroke.com. I'm gonna use the citrus and sap greens, burnt umber and worker white. Now I don't need floating medium. You'll see me use a floating medium on almost everything, but not on glass, metal, um, any non porous surface, you don't want medium on it, okay? So I am gonna start with a three quarter inch brush, but I also am gonna show you with a 16 flat, um, or you can use my signature brushes, which are lavender, and if they're specialty brush, they have flowers. Those are the nicer brushes. But these are the brushes we start with them, and I think you'll really enjoy these. All right, so what I'm going to share with you first, even without a pattern, you can take a dry erase marker and, and draw a pattern on if you want. But I want you to see that I'm going to pick up, I dampen the brush, and I lay it on the paper towel to get the excess moisture out. And then I come here with double loading right in the middle, and I work the paint all up the brush more paint than you usually can imagine. All right, so I'm gonna come down and get one side. And now the paint on the other side's not used yet. So I'm gonna come down there, all right? And so what I'm gonna do is keep going in here and picking up paint. Let's go a little bit wider, a little bit wider over here too. Okay, now I'm gonna come right in here and get another segment. Let's lay the brush so that the paint lays out really nice. Pick up more and come right here. I like to see the shading in there so you can see um, where the segments of the pumpkin are. So right in here, I come down and slide back up. All right, so there we are. Okay, and after that dries, I could go back and put a little bit more if I wanted to. Now I'm going to come in here and pick up a little bit of citrus. You see me, I keep picking up. I did not clean my brush, but I'm going to pick up more citrus. Or this could be lime green or happy green, any of those green colors. All right.
right and right here i do a small one in here okay so on this one well that's just drying just a little bit i'm going to wash this brush out lay it on the paper towel and i'm going to come in here and i'm just going to pick up a little bit of white and then pick up aqua because I want to show you like a ghost pumpkin, some lighter color pumpkins. All right, so I'm gonna clean this off. And you know what? I just used the wrong brush. Uh, this needs to be a smaller brush, the 16 brush. So the 16 brush should be easier for you. And then we come right in here. and slide back up. Now we have all kinds of packets online with all the new fall painting, just to let you know. And I think you'll like those. I'm gonna come in here. So winster.com, they have all kinds of packets. All you have to do is put in fall and you'll see a multitude of fun fall projects. All right. And I was just at my convention, so I don't have my blow dryer. So I'm going to just keep working and having these, these uh, fill in here. Now, when I'm doing this, I want you to see, I'm going to put some other colors in here, but I want to go ahead and let's pull out the 16. Um, and before I start that, I want to get my round that's in my kit. I mean, and my set is a number eight round. And I just want you to see that I can pick up the burnt umber. And I can use metallic gold too. I'm gonna put it, pick it up here. And what, I love the gray because it gives a nice look. All right, can y'all see that? The thing you're gonna love about glass, if I don't like something I've done, I can just wipe it back off again. Okay, just take a wet brush and wipe that off. So let's get a liner here. Let's get a two script liner and we can come right in here. And we're going to curl that. Can you see, there we go. And we're going to come right in here. So all I did was roll this in the paint, this brush. Okay, so if I want to get some of that, let's let's lay this under here so you don't see that shiny. Isn't that good? Okay, so we're gonna come right here. All right, so we just do little curls. And this one, actually, I can come in here. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So let's do the same thing to this piece. I'm going to come in here and make this curl. There we go. All right, so I don't like that this came to a point here. I can clean it up. Now, what I'd love for you to do is go join our Facebook group. It's Donna on the Road. No, excuse me, telling you my email, sorry. <laughs> I am Donna Dewberries with an S official one stroke group on Facebook. Okay, so come join us. We have lots of fun. I'm gonna show you this is the 16 flat. I wet it, put it on the paper towel, and then I'm coming in between. This is thicket. I said sap, it's thicket and um, citrus green. All right, actually this one says happy green. Just is a teeny bit brighter, but either one will work. Okay, so I'm going to come here and make a little wiggle. I'm just going to go a little bit closer. Come right here. 
and see if you have the light edge on the outside. Look how pretty that looks against the gray. All right, these have the darker edge except for this one. This had citrus on the outside edge. Okay, so I'm going to come right in here. See how pretty that looks? So you're just going to keep loading your brush. And I'm just going to keep picking up citrus. See that? And I'm going to lean it over. I do lots of gnome where you put the gnome um, sitting on pumpkins. I have a, a garden cart, like a wheelbarrow with gnome sitting on it for the fall. A bunch of you ordered the Believe in Me patterns for the fall um, that I did on here with the honey and with the beehive. And I have a cute one I'm going to be doing looking soon, guys, for a gnome pulling a wagon with a cupcake in it. All right. Lots of fun. All right. So see how that bright and puffs out. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up a teeny bit of white on this citrus edge. And then I can come in here and roll this over and stand up. Oops, I came off. So I dipped a little bit of white and then I went over to the citrus. Thicket and citrus. Okay, so I'm going to come all up here and see it's wet paint, wet on wet. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull in here. Okay, so I am going to, I do have the 16. All right, and I was using the 16 on here, but what I'd like to do is move down to a 12. And there's a couple things like, Bright, bright green. Is this is citrus or sap. No, it's not. <laughs> it's citrus or happy green or lime green. Some bright colors. Okay. Then I can come in here with uh, the thicket. Let's go back over that a little bit with some of the autumn. This is. Pueblo, not orange. And Pueblo gives you some darker colors. See how pretty that looks on there? All right. So one of the things I want to do, I'll put a couple over here too. All right. So I'm going to come in here. It's got a little bit of Pueblo. Okay. And here's some sap. Let's put more sap on here. Okay. Come up here. All right. So that's just a little dull, dull, but it is the fall colors, right? There's a couple of things you can do. You can come down here, like the sitting in the hay, and you can go slip slap a little bit along here. Just like it's sitting in hay, and this is a yellow. Could add just a teeny bit of the brown in here. And just with a chisel, go slip, slap, slip, slap. Okay. And I can bring in some brown because that brings it up. All right. So I'm going to let this dry just for a little bit, but I want to show you a couple of things that makes this look really good. All right. So what I'm doing on here is. It's not totally dry, but what I want to do is grab some aqua and just pull some of those colors up and back down. Okay. All right now, I did put a little bit of yellow. 
But what's kind of fun is I can wipe some of that off and just grab a teeny bit of white. So see, we're just laying the brush down. A little bit of highlight. All right. So I usually that, do that before I put the leaves, but I was just playing around. Okay. See that a little bit. Now, since I put some of those colors in there, I can come in here and reinforce the Pueblo in a couple of places. All right, just so I can get a little bit of that abstract. Then I can come in here and just put a little bit under here. Okay. And then when we come to this side, I can add some of the Pueblo. All right, but I can also come in here with some burnt umber. Now, what I do is I do multiples. So I would sit this down and as is, I would just do like you saw me do, I would just do the pumpkins. I would do the orange pumpkin and do a three or four with the orange pumpkin. This is how, if you're gonna sell them at the craft fairs or if you've got a lot of gifts to do for family, uh, or if you want a table setting and you put a glass clear plate on this so that you can eat on top of it in the glass plate. Dollar Tree is a glass, clear glass ones that you can put right on top of this. And this would just be a little bit of decor. All right. So, um, so I just want you to see that I would do all the orange pumpkins, then come back and do all the aqua on. I would I'd line up at least three to six of what I'm painting because then... I can come back and just touch this and and work on that that way. Also, I'm going to go back here and just barely touch it and pull it. And then, like I said, I can come back here and put some more of that aqua back in there. Like I put a lot of the Pueblo. So I can come back in here if I want. Okay. And it just gives a a little bit of a more rustic look. Just a little bit of touches. You like that? All right, so then I can touch up here. But what I want to show you is some of these, we need some brighter green leaf, don't we? You see how I kind of try it, see if I like it, come back and add more. Okay. So I can come in here and put a brighter leaf right in here, right in there. Okay, now then I'm gonna come in here. I can use treasure gold. This is just a gold, treasure gold, gold. All right, because I think it still needs a little bit of pizzazz. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, I also toothbrush. All right, I, not a use, just an old um, new toothbrush or an old one. Those are good at the Dollar Tree. I should call it the dollar twenty-five tree. All right. So then, this is what I want to do. I want to take. Let's take that round brush again. This is an eight round, and this one I want to do. I want to pat this down a little bit and work it into this brush. And it had a little bit of um, water in it, so I should probably lay it, let the water absorb out of it. But see, I'm going to come in here this treasure gold and come up and around can you see that goal there we go see i'm holding my little finger okay and bring this around here put it around there you don't have to follow the whole thing just little touches of gold right and we could curl this a little bit and this a little bit all right, so see the gold. All right, and I can pull a little bit up here. Just lay it down flat and add a few accents here and there. Okay. Now I do like to just come in here with a comma stroke. Just a little bit.
gold always looks really good, guys. And then I put this hay down here so I can do a couple of these strokes on the sides. See, a little bit down in here. I put out a lot of gold not to use much. <laughs> All right, so then this is what I want you to see. I'm gonna put a little bit in the stem. And we're just loosely putting it on there. We're not trying to make it really gorgeous and smooth. If, if so, I would use a liner. Okay, now this is what I want to do. I'm gonna take the toothbrush. I'm gonna to wet it a little bit in the water. I'm gonna go into the treasure gold, treasure gold gold, right? So see how it's in there? And then I can practice it by just flicking it a little bit. Now watch. All right, I'm putting gold on here. Okay. Now I want you to see, see the splatters of gold? Just makes it look nice. And I have another, we can do another color in here just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. See, I'm putting a little bit more gold. See, that one's a little bit better. Okay. Now, I think one of the colors that was fun that I put in here, isn't this fun? Are you liking it? I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna take some aqua and I'm just gonna take, well, that's not showing. So let's take aqua and white. You see how I play with it? And then after I get it down pat, then I make a whole bunch of what I like. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at it. See how it splatters the aqua? All right. And that makes it really pretty. You could put the year on it or the family's name at the top. Or look at this. See, this one looks pretty just with the gold. But I'm going to put some pretty aqua around. Look. See, that just makes it. So we've taken this to a couple of different steps so that you can see how fun and easy. See the gold here? Please subscribe. I, it means a lot to me to have you guys subscribe and know when I'm going to be on. And if you ring the bell when you subscribe, it will just say, hey, Donna's on with something new. And it helps me grow so I can be here more for you guys and create more of things that you can make money or save money or just flat out enjoy painting, all right? Good day, hope you get to paint with me later today and accomplish something that you didn't ever think you could do and see me on Friday for more, more, more. Fridays are practice strokes where you learn. And you know, by the way, I have a club that I would like for you to join and it's called the One Stroke Advantage it gives you money off my website and everything. And come join me. I make it possible for you to do penny parties and make a good amount of money on it. And that is on One Stroke Advantage. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.